red eye. It's like the Brady Bunch, but instead of Alice, we have my houseboy, Quan. Delightful. Mm. I'm here with downtown Patty Ann Brown, Fox News Channel anchor. If intelligence and beauty were roaches, she'd be laying eggs in my cupboard. <laughs> Bill Schultz, repulsive and completely hairless sidekick. So some malls want Santa to shed some pounds before the kids start visiting him, so he'll set a good example to kids. And I think this is the bold new road we need to go down. The bear Santa's tired, Greg. I, mm. yeah, honestly, I don't think we've thought this thing through, because if you thought about the implications of a thin Santa, the next thing you know, he's leaving Mrs. Claus for yep. a trophy wife. Exactly. <laughs> it's Viagra it's all over. He's yeah, supposed, no, there is a direct <laughs> link between obesity and jolliness. Mm. His wife, Michelle, revealed in a Glamour magazine interview that their children rarely jump into bed with the Illinois senator because he is, quote, so snorry and stinky in the morning. <laughs> pa Patty Ann, does this help or hurt Obama knowing that he smells? Well, I just want to know which of the other seven dwarfs are in bed with him. He had stinky, you know, obviously not horny, and I think that might be a problem, you know, so. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think it hurts him. Yeah. I mean, she says she's trying to humanize him. I think she's just trying to make sure he's not attractive to other women. Yes, very true. Obama. Oh, interesting segue from Patty Ann's intelligent comment that Michelle Obama is just trying to make other women not find Barack attractive to Ian's joke about stinky men and the next all over. <laughs> <laughs> the candidates are alleging that Michelle Bruce misled voters by identifying herself as a female before the election when, in fact, she is transgendered, meaning she used to be a dude. Patty, do you think she misled the public, and should these results be tossed? Well, yeah, uh, yes, she misled the public. Obviously, she didn't have the to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Why is it so adorable when, when she says it? Like if I if I had said that, I would have a I would have a meeting tomorrow. I'd be standing in front of somebody and say, "You can't say the word, but you you can come in and you can say whatever you oh, want." That so I makes me want to experiment with you right now. <laughs> The solution here is yes. all candidates have to release nude photos of themselves. Oh, I love, be, you know, that. Uh, I love that. I love that. Yeah. Uh, transgender election fraud. Patty Ann, very well put when you said she didn't have the to come clean. Greg, you can learn a lot from PAB. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I'm talking about Dina Lohan, the psychotic monster that hatched Lindsay. She has a new e-reality show which follows her adventures as she destroys, I mean helps, her <laughs> other younger daughter's life. It's time to, 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 to put the soccer mom to bed and replace it with the crack mom. Mm. And that's a mom that's really busy, got a lot to do, Patty Ann, and she gets, she, she gets by by just doing crack cocaine. Well, how, how are we supposed to do it without that little boost during the Thank day, right? Yes, it's important. Exactly. Have, have you seen the News Corp cafeteria? It's a lot of toothless people. Hugo Chavez is speaking out against a new trend in Venezuela, giving girls breast implants for their 15th birthday. He says breast enlargements are the ultimate degeneration. Patty, and should people be allowed to make decisions about their body? Well, I, you know, when they're 15, I don't know. You know, when I was 15, all I got was a stupid bike. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> but I don't Amy, know. Amy, you had nothing to worry about. <laughs> 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 you know, I, thank you. I'll second. Oh you know, I'm just you speaking know, the you truth. You always have to do this, I'm don't just, you, Billy? Really? Yes. It was a compliment. Uh -oh. It was a compliment. Libertarianism allows for people to go and enjoy whatever they can afford in augmentation surgery, but 15 is just it wrong. Is yeah. 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 Just wrong. Do you want them real anymore? Exactly. Yeah. There's nothing better than a real breast. No, I, I, I agree. Fry. Billionaire blowhard Richard Branson tore his trousers and nearly broke his backside after repeatedly bunging into a building to plug his company, Virgin America. This is a CEO, people. The 57-year-old F-up tossed three tickets while leaping 407 feet from the Palms Casino Hotel, only to watch the stunt bat backfire. Patty Cakes. Why would a billionaire do something as stupid as this instead of simply having sex with countless naked models in an underground grotto? Uh, God only knows. I mean, honestly, <laughs> wouldn't you just take the money and squirrel it away in a cave? I mean, yep. It makes a lot of sense to me, but I just thank God he wasn't wearing a thong. That's yes. all I have to oh, say. Yeah. That been I don't rough. know what his problem is. There's something, maybe it's just because he's British. I think he's an adrenaline junkie. <laughs> it could be just he's British. He's an adrenaline junkie and he just lives for the I hate people who say it. they're to the extreme or they're adrenaline junkies. All they mean is somebody's going to have to go out and find them on a mountain. You know what would have been great, though, is when he jumped. If his pants ripped it, it was so forceful that his intestines just <laughs> spilled out. <laughs> it's a ticket. Oh, no. It's a lower intestine. Why do you hate him so much? I don't hate him, but I just don't nice like his I, just hate, I hate the idea of him. That's all. <laughs> Eight men say they either had sex with Senator Larry Craig or were targets of sexual advances by the very sexy Idaho senator. One of them is Mike Jones, the former escort. As you know, Craig made headlines for his arrest uh, during this men's room sex sting, and now he's appealing 
the uh, the guilty plea. What do you think, Patty Ann Brown? Do you think now that eight people have come out, do you think he should just stop with the plea well, and just walk away? Well, he's right now he's demanding to see the hard evidence that these men have. Against no, him. he already has. <laughs> <laughs> he has. Nice, nice, just, very nice. The one <laughs> Who would have thought Patty Ann would bust out the hard evidence joke, by the way? Yeah. That was nice. That was, I got to do was one really tacky thing. pun every time. You guys must be getting soft. No. <laughs> uh, Scott Checky, that's a nice name, from Pittsburgh writes, My birthday is this weekend. Do you have any ideas how I can celebrate my 43rd birthday? I guess spending the day with Julie Banderas, Allison Camerata, or the great Patty Ann Brown is out of the question. Scott, actually it's not. I've already packed all three of them onto a plane destined for Pittsburgh and they should arrive in just a few hours. I've labeled the boxes as best I could, but I apologize in advance if one of Patty Ann's arms gets mixed up with Julie Banderas' legs. I was in a hurry, and those FedEx boxes are kind of small. Mm. 